Would you please welcome Gabby Logan and Ali McCoist? <laughs> Right, here we have Gabby Logan and her friend and fellow ITV football presenter Ali McCoy. Gabby's married to the Scottish rugby star Kenny Logan and the daughter of Terry Yorath, the Welsh international footballer. Gabby actually has sporting form of her own, including representing Great Britain in rhythmic gymnastics all the way up to Olympic level. Uh, she also has a law degree and not one but two Blue Peter badges. <laughs> Ali McCoy, however, has to make do with just the 61 caps he won playing <laughs> football for Scotland and his record as Glasgow Rangers' greatest ever goal scorer. And tonight, Alice Charity is the Moorcroft Children's Centre Fund, while Gabby's here on behalf of the Cardio Myopathy Association. Welcome. Thank you. You look absolutely terrified. Have you I heard his breathing? <laughs> I've never heard him breathe. He is a heavy breather. He is a well-known heavy breather. I'm glad you never heard my breathing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, why this particular charity? Uh, well, it's just one close to my heart, Chris. It's a, it's a special needs school in Renfrew. Uh -huh. uh, and I've been in there a few times. And the, the, what they do with the special needs kids who obviously are less fortunate than, than other kids, it's amazing. It's an amazing place, a real eye-opener. And it's, um, it's just, a, as I say, it's a place that's uh, very close to me. OK, well, obviously, the, you know, the more money tonight we can get, the better. And Gabby, yours is very close to your heart. Yeah, um, my brother died from sudden death syndrome, which is also known as um, cardiomyopathy. And, um, was, that, was that young? He was 15. And, so, and that often happens in, in that illness that young people are taken away very quickly and suddenly from their families. So um, they need a lot of money to help in the research and, and also the development of technology so that doctors can get screening facilities up and going. So we're going to raise some good money tonight. OK, well, I think you probably want to make a start. Now, yeah. Gabby and Ali are just 15 correct answers away from winning £1 million. Sounds so easy when you say that. Uh, all the money tonight goes to charities. If they get stuck on the way up, they have three lifelines to help them. They have 50-50. They can phone a friend, and, of course, they can ask the audience. Remember, Gabby and Ali have to agree on all their answers and on the use of any particular lifeline. The audience will be voting on every single question. What's of luck, guys. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Right, question number one for £100. Have a look. Traditionally, foresters counted the number of rings on a tree stump to gain what information about a tree? Name, age, <laughs> marital status, <laughs> occupation. I think it's age. Well, I think you're probably right on that one. It's the right answer, you got £100. <laughs> question number two for 200 quid. here it comes. Which household object is most likely to have a hob on top? Piano, cooker, wardrobe, sofa. That's obviously a lady's question, so... <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ali, Ali, if you want to get a... friends and influence. Ali, there's about oh, 80, but not too late. <laughs> would you agree with me that it's cooker? I would. Good. That's good. Uh, you got 200 pounds. <laughs> Question number three for 300 quid. Which of these is a common defect in photographs taken with a flash camera? Red ear, red nose, red eye, red chin. After Ali's had a night out, it's red nose, <laughs> but I think um, that it's red eye. It's right answer, you got 300 pounds. <laughs> okay, have a look at question number four. It's worth 500 quid. What is the name of the government department that deals with the domestic affairs of the UK? Home office, home ministry, home cabinet, home agency. Sorry, home office. It's <laughs> the right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Have a look, it's question number five of a possible 50. Which actress married Percy Gibson Colours drained out of your cheeks, McCoy. Which actress married Percy Gibson in 2002? That'd be Mrs. Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need slightly more detail. Wait till you see what happens. Have a look. Stephanie Beecham, Joan Collins, Kate O'Mara, Jane Asher. Your face. It's Joan Collins. <laughs> do we agree with this, Mr. McCoy? We do agree. So, right answer, you've got £1,000. We'll play it, guaranteed. Good. 
feel better? <laughs> Marginally. <laughs> you got all three lifelines. You're five away from 32,000. Take them one at a time. You might as well play this one. You can't lose it. You've got a thousand pounds. Question number six is for 2,000. Here it is. Tony McCoy and Adrian Maguire. You're doing one of your grins, Gabby. Are famous names in which sport? Golf, darts, horse racing, rallying. Can I just say that I think we both obviously feel sport could be a strong point, and as this has come so early on in the day, that's not really great for us, is it? But you think we've peaked too early? I think so. Horse racing. Yeah, horse racing. Final answer? Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got two thousand pounds. <laughs> You might get a second sports question. You never know. Have a look at question number seven. You still haven't touched any lifeline. This is for £4,000. What was a common name for a chamber pot? Be careful, Ali. <laughs> Be careful. We all want to work again. What was a common name for a chamber pot? Jimmy. Jerry. Jackie. Johnny. I think it's ERD. Jimmy or Johnny? Oh, you go, what do you think? I thought it was Johnny, but I'm... Because you go to the John, don't you? Oh, my God, the John. Sounds right, doesn't it? But then you have a Jimmy Riddle, don't you? You know him so well. <laughs> <laughs> you have a Jimmy Riddle? <clears throat> I want to go for Johnny, but I don't want to go home yet. We both know it's Johnny. It is Johnny. Johnny. No. <laughs> Should we have a 50-50? You can ask the audience, you can find a friend. Why are we... Do you want to ask the audience? It's worth £4,000. You lose 1000 if you're wrong. Johnny. Jimmy. Definitely not Jerry or Jackie. Are you confident not yet? <coughs> I don't think it's Jerry or Jackie. Should we do, if we do 50-50 and we're left with A and D... We, oh, I'll be devastated. I think we should ask the audience because I think earlier on it's better to ask the audience because the more it goes on, the knowledge gets more specific, whereas this is much more oh, general. do you think the audience aren't that intelligent? No, I think the audience... <laughs> <laughs> you, give, you give me stick for giving <laughs> the hob one. I think the audience looks absolutely intelligent, the most intelligent audience I've ever seen, actually. Much better than... Um, Even in the dark. <laughs> but um, I think it's more general, so should we ask the audience? Ask the audience, yeah. Can we ask the audience, please? <laughs> right. OK, everybody, let's try and get uh, Gabby and Ali up to £4,000. Have a look. This is the question. What was a common name for a chamber pot? A, Jimmy. B, Jerry. C, Jackie. D, Johnny. It's worth £4,000. All vote now. Oh, where's Jerry came from? 70% <laughs> say Jimmy. 33% say Jerry. Jerry. Jerry wasn't in the equation. Jerry is... 4% uh... say Jackie. 46% say Johnny. Jerry. I think it's Johnny. I think it's Johnny. Chamber pot, Johnny. <laughs> it's never going to be a Jerry. Chris, we'd like to go with Johnny. Would we? I knew it was only, I knew, I knew, I knew it was only a matter of time before she took over. <laughs> Would we like to go with Johnny? You go to the John. Yeah. OK. What How many of you don't know that? 17% say Jimmy. And this isn't even Shakespeare. I'm oh. <laughs> 33% say Jerry. 4% say Jackie. See, my agent's in the audience, and her husband's called Jerry, and he would know, wouldn't he? If your name is the name of it, the toilet, you'd know, wouldn't you? What? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how ridiculous it's got. <clears throat> is it me? <laughs> uh, you still got a 50-50, uh, you still got a friend? I know, but I don't want to use them up now. I don't want to use phone a friend on this. It's embarrassing. I know. Do you? Of what is all it? the questions that you stuck on. <laughs> you get well, stuck, stuck on it quite a lot. Well, stuck on either the Johnny or the Jerry. <laughs> you're stuck it's on the Jerry. Not a pleasant place to be on. Have you ever heard anybody? Have you, you're older than me. Have you ever heard anybody say, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to the Jerry? No, it's a John. Right. We're going to go with Johnny, Chris. Ali? Are we? You have to Ali? agree with your answers. You yeah, we agree. Please be right. Final answer. Don't look like that. I always look like this. <laughs> I look like this every week. That's how I look. I can't help that. You, you go to the John. I know that. And you're old John. Thank me. When Scottish people say, see you, Jimmy, do they mean see you, toilet head? <laughs> 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 
Possibly. Maybe. No. No. I've put silly thoughts in your head. You have. You've thrown me. <sighs> Come on. Johnny. Johnny. Fine, lads. Yeah. Um, just before the break, well, I say just before the break, a long time before the break, Ali and Gabby got this question for £4,000. They had £2,000, they guaranteed £1,000. This was for £4,000. What was a common name for a chamber pot? Jimmy, Jerry, Jackie or Johnny? They, um, they deliberated for a while. Um, <laughs> they asked the audience to use up their first lifeline. 17% of the audience said Jimmy, 33% said Jerry, 4% said Jackie, 46% said Johnny. Both eventually certain it was Johnny. It's the wrong answer. Oh, no, I can't believe it. The right answer is Jerry. Gabby, Ali. <laughs> you look absolutely oh, I'm devastated. Sick. I'm sick. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Don't cry. I won't. Give me a big hand. They still go away with £1,000. Well played, guys. No. Oh, so <laughs> Oh. So, Gabby and Ali go away with uh, £500 apiece for their two charities. It does mean it's time to welcome our next pair of players tonight, Esther Ranson and her son, Joshua. <laughs> hey! How are you, darling? Oh. Hey, comfy. Ooh. Ooh, long way up. Ooh. This is, of course, broadcaster Esther Ranson, who's here tonight with her son, Joshua, uh, who's a student. Esther started her career producing sound effects for radio, but went on to become an even bigger noise on television, notably with the show That's Life, which went on for 21 years until the world finally ran out of odd-shaped vegetables. <laughs> Esther has three kids, Emily, Rebecca and Joshua. Uh, he's 20 years old. He's studying physics and philosophy at Oxford University. Now, tonight, Esther and Joshua are playing on behalf of the charity Childline, which, as you probably know, Esther helped set up in 1986. Why did you originally get involved, Esther? With Childline? Yeah, how did it start? We made a programme about child abuse, and in the course of it, we opened helplines, and they were <laughs> jammed with children who no one else knew about, but found this to be a safe way to ask for help. We had to close the helplines, and I walked around with this thought in my head that if hundreds of children rang over the two days the helplines were open, how many thousands wanted to ring? Mm. So we consulted the experts we were already in touch with, asked them if they thought it would work, and they said, well, they thought it would w children would use it, but they yeah. thought it would be impossible to set up. Now, every child that you counsel mm. uh, costs £32? Absolutely. Which does mean that if we got to £32,000... Yes. Which would be great. I know, after what just happened, £32,000 seems a long way up, but... It would be wonderful, because yeah. uh, we so get... That means 1,000 kids, doesn't it? 15,000 attempted calls every day mm. to Childline. We can only answer about 3,500, so... To be able to answer that number more children, children who might be in desperate danger, is terribly important. There's now, a lot at stake, young friends. Yes, no pressure from mummy then, no Joshua. Pressure, no, no pressure, pressure at all. <laughs> no pressure. How's it going to work between the two of you? Because I have to say between Ali and Gabby, mm -hmm. the strategy, whatever it was, well, it collapsed, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he's got his specialties. She does the talking. <laughs> he is the, the scientist, the philosopher, and I'm the vegetable queen. So uh, that's well, that'll be handy then. Yeah, that. Uh, lots of questions, please, about vegetables. <laughs> okay, listen. Fingers crossed. Lots of luck tonight. Now, when we started the show tonight, celebrities who'd been on our previous special shows had raised nine hundred and sixty-seven thousand pounds for their charities. Thanks to Ali and Gabby, that total's now gone up to nine hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. It does mean, though, that if we, they, basically, uh, can raise another £32,000 tonight, we will hit the million pound mark. 15 questions, three brand new lifelines, a possible £1 million pounds here for Childline. Good luck, Joshua. Good luck, Esther. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, question number one is for £100. Here it comes. Which of these is a type of beer? Plump. Hodgy. Stout. Stocky. 
I, I bow to your expert advice. Stout. Good man. You got a hundred pounds. I knew that. Uh, question number two for 200 quid. Have a look. Here it comes. Which phrase means a compromise or a place to take a break on a long journey? Midway Motel. Halfway House. Five Way Inn. Highway Pub. My turn? Yeah. Halfway House? It's the right answer. You've got 200 pounds. <laughs> this is question number three of a possible 15. Here it is. How is bread without butter or a spread on top described? Revolta. Yeah. <laughs> or arid bread, <clears throat> dry bread, desiccated bread, parched bread. We'll have dry bread, shall dry we? Dry bread, I think, yeah. That's the right answer. £300. We'll play. <laughs> OK, number four is for £500. Here it comes. Have a look. Which creatures are most associated with the phrase hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil? Don't look at me. <laughs> Giraffes, lions, monkeys, elephants. Monkeys. Right answer, 500 pounds. <laughs> Three white monkeys. <laughs> Have a look. Question number five is 1,000 pounds. That will be guaranteed. Which of these has the smallest answer? Three plus three. Three multiplied by three. Three divided by three. Three cubed. You're the mathematician, but I'd say C. Would you say C? What, three divided by three? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. I'd be in trouble if I got that one wrong. You would. <laughs> Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got 1,000 pounds. <laughs> Listen, you've got a £1,000 guarantee, OK? You've got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number six. You might as well play this for £2,000. What is the star sign? Oh, my gosh. Why is your mouth I'm... opening and closing like a guppy? I'm happy. Of someone born on the 1st of April. When's your birthday, Joshua? October, 20th of October. <laughs> When's your birthday? 22nd of June. OK. This could be anything. What's the star sign of someone Dad. born on the 1st of April? No, Taurus. Well, oh, wait and see the alternative, okay, shall we? OK, OK, OK. <laughs> right, is it? Pisces. Taurus. Well, that was him. Aquarius. Gosh, I don't know. Aries. Now, take your time. Now, listen, darling, I know it's early in the game, but we need help. Yeah. OK. What's your star sign? Libra. What's yours? Cancer. No. It really doesn't help. Now, Desi's was Taurus, which was the 25th of May. But you know, these cusps are funny things. It's a funny thing, a cusp. <laughs> there are two things we could do, OK? Three things we could do, OK? <laughs> Three lifelines. Well, no. We could go for Taurus. Right. OK? We could ask the audience who are, as we know, infallible. Well, except vis-a-vis -vis the chamber pot subject. Yeah. Except vis-a-vis -vis that. Or we could ring someone. Now, which, which of our friends knows anything about astrology? Dean? Ian? No. He's too serious. He's a doctor. Forget it. Doctors know things? Not about star signs. Not this one. Every, now, shall I tell you something? Everyone at home is screaming at the yes, set. Yes, they are. Yeah. Right yeah, now, they're screaming at the set. Can you scream a bit louder? <laughs> <laughs> ask the audience. Audience, can we ask you? You can. Right, audience. On your key pads, please. Let's try and get uh, Joshua and Esther up to £2,000. This is the question. Here it comes. What is the star sign of someone born on the 1st of April? Now, A, on your keypad will be Pisces. B is Taurus. C is Aquarius, D is Aries. All vote now. Right. Well, good. Okay. Listen. Hang on, let's go back. Think chamber boss. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> just think I know, chamber but boss. Just, that's, that's a lot. Just more look at that. Look at that. 
We're going to yes, go for Yes, but when Aries. the lights came on, weren't they funny looking? Come on, be Yes, fair. yes. We're going to go for Aries, Aries. aren't we? Because um, there's always someone else to blame. We've got a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. You've got a thousand pounds, Karen. So Kim. much to chat about. So. That's good. Audience, let's pray for you and us. Final answer. Yes. Yes. It's the right answer. <laughs> That's good. Question number seven is worth £4,000. Here it comes. What is 2002 NT7, which scientists thought might collide with the Earth in 2019? Asteroid. Comet. Space station. Planet. Now, Josh, you were looking very excited. I thought it was an asteroid. But I was thinking, if Comet comes up, I don't know. And then Comet came up. And now space stations come up. It's not... No. It won't be a space station. No. And it's not a planet. Definitely not a planet. Now. It's an asteroid or it's a comet. I'm glad Meteorite didn't come up. You've got £2,000. It's Comets are usually named after the people who find them, because they're quite rare. OK, like Halley's, Halley's yeah, OK. Asteroids, there are loads of them. So they give them numbers and letters. Just thinking, maybe. Would you rather go 50-50 or phone a friend? 50-50 will go asteroid comet. I it won't. It, not necessarily. I mean, it might, but it, but it's, it is completely random. Right. Okay, 50-50. Please. Okay. Please have a light. Okay, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Esther and Joshua the right answer, and one remaining random wrong answer. Joshua is praying at this moment. Asteroid. It's an asteroid, Chris. Oh, suddenly you're so knowledgeable. Oh, it's an asteroid. <laughs> says Esther. <laughs> Final answer. Totally. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. Well played. Well played. Well played. <laughs> How are you feeling? The, the questions are much harder when you see them from here. Of course they're not. And... If I were sitting at home looking at us, grinding our way slowly up to this point, we, I, we'd be eating a packet of crisps and saying to each other, they're hopeless, aren't they? They're never going to get anywhere, are they? Somehow you got there. You got £4,000. Uh, you still got a lifeline. Have a look. Tell me if you want to play it. Which of these composers died in 1958? Vaughan Williams. Schubert. Bizet. Tchaikovsky. Vaughan Williams. Oh, come on, Esther, let's take our time on this one. You certain? Yeah. Joshua? Talk to her. I really don't know. I would have said Vaughan Williams. I've got a memory of him. But it's only because she's just said it, though. Um, yeah, Vaughan Williams. Final answer. Absolutely. It's the right answer. We'll play that scene for eight times back. All the others were actually, um, Schubert was way back in 1820-something. Uh, they were all last century. Right, you've got £8,000. Now, you're two away from 32000 which would be a great result for child life. This is for £16,000. In the animated TV series Rhubarb and Custard, what colour was Custard the cat? Green, pink, yellow, orange. Before my time. Or maybe I just didn't watch it. I don't know. Well after my time. I think it's... Whatever we're going to say now, we're not going to work it out. Because cartoon cats don't have to be any colour they want to be. If they're called rhubarb and custard, you would have thought maybe custard is yellow. But I wouldn't bank on it. Ring Dean. No, I'm going to ring Jackie. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's Jackie? Television critic. But has she, over the years, no. criticised, written know. a column about rhubarb and custard? It may not be her specialty. She's seen a lot of telly. So it's Jackie who? Stevens. Ah. <laughs> it's up to you. You want to, you want to find a friend? Yes, please. Can I okay. ring uh, no, that's fine. Jackie? OK, it's worth £16,000. I say you do not have to take her answer. OK. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello? Jackie? Yes? Hello there, Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no, please. Oh, yes. Now, we're on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Jackie? Yeah. You remember that show? Yeah. Still quite like it? Yes. <laughs> no pressure, then. I'm, I've got off it tonight. Right, now, serious business. I've got Esther here. Esther yep. and Joshua, her son. Uh, they're doing fine, but they're stuck on £8,000. Yeah. Um, so no pressure, Jackie, but this is worth £16,000. Oh, God. For charity. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Right, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay. In the animated TV series Rhubarb and Custard, Jackie, what colour was Custard the cat? A, green, B, pink, C, yellow, D, orange. Oh, no. I don't know. I think green, but I wouldn't bank on it. I'm really sorry. Oh, Jackie. I've never seen it. <laughs> when I think how I've relied on your judgment I'm so over sorry, years. But I think green. And I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't know. Well, TV critic. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's think this through, young person. You've got 8,000 pounds. You lose 7,000 if you're wrong, guys. There's no, there's no point losing £7,000. Every penny counts. £8,000. That blooming cat could be purple with black and white No, spikes. it can't be. It can only be green, pink, yellow or orange. <laughs> well, it's a limited cat. But Jackie said green. She's, she made it up. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Watches a lot of television, but just not this. Right, we're going to take the £8,000. I'm... I'm terribly sorry. It, if it was for me, I'd probably say orange. Just for fun. Final answer? No. <laughs> okay, but what would you go for? If between you, if you had to if you had to combine an answer, what would you do? Just purely out of interest. I'd say green. I'd say pink. You said orange just now. <laughs> I think at one point somebody said yellow. That cat could be anything. It's a cartoon cat. It could be, as she said, black and white. It's called Custard. And if it you watched it on a black and white set, it would be. If it was black and white, you'd be watching Postman Pat, for God's sake. Absolutely. <laughs> Final answer, you can take the money. We're taking the £8,000, and we're very grateful, and thank you for having us. No, bless you. Thank you very much. Right, give them a big hand. Esther and Joshua Lee with £8,000. Just Green. before you go. No, Green. no, just before you go. Because you will, because you'll only squabble all the way home. I can tell you that 63% um, of this audience went for yellow. Yes. 15% said uh, green. 70% uh -huh. said pink. 5% said orange. And what did you say? Black and white, actually. No, you didn't. That's green. You said he green. He said green, and I said pink. Pink was the right answer. Oh. <laughs> Give me a big hand. They go away with £8,000. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Josh. Good luck, mate.